The, the idea there is just to consolidate the government house building program. So we've had three streams of that, um, Housing New Zealand, who have their own building program, uh, the Crown Land program, which has been overseen by Nick Smith, and also Tamaki Regeneration. And these are quite large programs. And uh, so we're just taking the opportunity to consolidate the building programs under one minister, and the regulation uh, will remain with the regulation for the whole housing um, market remains with uh, with Nick Smith. There's just too much of it to put in under one minister uh, because of the you know the complexity. So that's how we're tidying it up. So am I right in saying that the, the crown the crown land part was previously under Minister Smith, and that now comes across and under Mr. Adams? That's right, and he and Minister Smith was also a shareholder in the Tamaki Regeneration uh, Tamaki Company, TRG, and uh, that's a big, big uh, building program of its own. Uh, but we're consolidating those under Amy Adams. And do you expect there to be more um, government building initiatives announced for the election that, that fit along what we're seeing in Tamaki and North Coast? Do you expect to see others? Um, added to, to, to what the Minister was responsible for? Ah, uh, yes. How, how significant, how many more are you, are you envisaging? Well, there's, <coughs> I mean, the, uh, I mean, we're thoroughly, we're into the implementation phase at the moment, uh, with the, and the Housing New Zealand plan is coming along, so there'll be, you know, there'll be announcements about that. But are we talking about announcements like Well, and an overall plan. Um, before you became Prime Minister, Nick Smith was the Minister of Housing. Uh, he's now the Minister of Building and Construction, and you've stripped him of some of his major responsibilities. Has he done something wrong or something? Oh no, the, we certainly haven't stripped him as major responsibilities. I mean, his major responsibilities are minister for the environment so that remains unchanged, and the minister of building construction, building and construction, is a portfolio that is fundamentally about the regulation of the um, building and construction sector. Obviously, enough, the development um, roles that he's had were really ones that uh, that were opportunistic. So he ended up in the Crown Land program because he'd got heavily involved with uh, emergency housing in Christchurch and the team was transferred um, to Auckland. But now that that's all set up um, and a lot of the complicated land and iwi work has been done, it's really just now a construction program and therefore we can consolidate it with some of the other functions in Auckland rather than running, out of, running it out of the um, office here, uh, running it out of MB here in Wellington. So it's just a practical shift. No, just that. Well, the only thing you can read into, should read into it, is that the government has got a large-scale building program, and we're consolidating that, the management of it, so it's effective and we can get scale. And we'll be talking a bit more about that um, over the next three or four months.